Many people often ask, and I see in the comments, Hoodie Hustlin, why do you have a ski mask on? You look like a criminal. Well, my pushback is, who often commits the most heinous and insidious financial crimes? Is it somebody in a ski mask? Well, if we look at history, think about the Enron scandal, the Bernie Madoff scandal, even the FTX scandal, and how the stock market is structured with dark pooling and other unfair advantages that hurt us as retail trailers. Is it somebody in a ski mask who commits these crimes or creates these unfair rules? Or is it people who show their faces and have suits on? Just some food for thought. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie Hustling. With tax season just around the corner, here are some Hoodie Hustling tax hacks. One, file on time. Two, reduce the amount of taxable income you have by contributing to your 401k. Max out your 403b. Make sure you're maxing out as much as possible. Also, two, contribute as much as you can to an HSA or an FSA account. Look to maximize that contribution because that is all pre-tax dollars that will lower your taxable income. And lastly, always have a tax professional look over your taxes to find the most deductions. My tax lady is A1 and worth every penny. She saves me thousands each year. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustling. The value of the dollar has lost so much value. Back in 1971, when Ronald Reagan took us off the gold standard, when a dollar was backed by a certain amount of gold, each dollar we had, it has plummeted in value. And if we go back all the way to 1913, when the Federal Reserve was created, that is when the value of the dollar started to decline. And since then, it has lost over 96% of its value, meaning a dollar today is what four pennies would get you back in 1913. But again, all these facts and figures we don't care about. We want to know how it relates to our financial literacy and investing. Well, because the dollar is worth a lot less, that means we have to be more smarter when it comes to saving and budgeting. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. But he also if you deposit $10,000 into your bank account right now, the banks can legally lend 90% of that money out. So that is $9,000 they can lend out to somebody else that can then deposit that into the bank account. And they can do it again. 90% of 9,000 is 8,100. They can do this an infinite amount of times until there's just pennies left on the loan. Now imagine everybody withdrawing their money at the same time. Well, the bank would collapse and have to be bailed out. Now take this concept over to crypto, and that is why a lot of these coins have failed. The mass withdrawal of funds. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustling. We talked about the S&P 500, SPY, the index fund that tracks the 500 largest companies in the U.S. Now, from 2002 to 2021, it is averaging 8.9% annual rate of return. 2022 was a bad year, so that number, overall number, will decline a bit. So, you figure it's still going to be in the high eights. Now, if you look forward for the next 30 years and say you were to start at $0 and you'd invest it in a vehicle like SPY with an 8% annual return and you were able to invest $50 a week or $200 a month and you did that consistently for 30 years, you would have invested $72,000. However, because of compounding interest, you would have over $280,000. So we see the benefits. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. What are you hustling? We always have to stay up to date with market trends. So we know this afternoon that the Fed rate hike was 25 basis point or 0.25%. Now this is done in order to fight inflation, which it has successfully doing because back in June of 2022, inflation was at 9% and has now plummeted all the way to 6.5%. That's nice and all, but what does that mean for us, you and me, as investors or as people interested in the market? 
since what the Fed has been doing with the rate hikes has been working with inflation, well, it has positively impacted the stock market, especially as of late. We've seen recent surges in the market. So we want to continue to watch these trends, continue to educate ourselves, and continue to look for good opportunities of quality plays. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Finance is here to stay, y'all. And here's why. Because we work up until pretty much we die. We're going to need to pay bills and taxes until we die. Why not start to educate ourselves more and more so that we can make better financial decisions. And hopefully down the road, it means we can work less or maybe not even all and let our investment vehicles pay for our lifestyle. Continue to educate yourself, use multiple sources of information, and be consistent. And you will see how that compound knowledge you acquire, that we're acquiring over time, will really make a difference in our financial decision making. Like and subscribe to the channel for more information like this. Hoodie hustling. Wanted to start off this video by first of all thanking the Hoodie Hustling family. I appreciate y'all. My channel's growing, getting more subscribers. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to Hoodie Hustling and like the videos. It helps our channel grow as we continue to spread financial education. But what I wanted to talk about today was making sure we have three to five different resources of information when educating or looking to invest. And it's often good to look for def different type of demographics as well. Look for a female or two when it comes to financial advice. Look for an older, maybe 60 plus, middle age, and then a younger. It's always good to get different perspectives. Never rely on one source of information. Me and myself, I have about five different sources that I pull from when creating videos or just doing general research. Continue to grow, y'all. What did we learn in 2022? Well, with interest rates rising in order to fight the inflation that was occurring at an increasingly alarming rate, well, those tech stocks and those risky plays that worked the previous year in 2021 cost a lot of people a lot of money in 2022. Whereas those safer stocks, the blue chip stocks, the dividend stocks, they were less risky and caused a lot less damage in a volatile market in 2020. What do we learn from all this? Well, we don't want to put all our eggs in one basket. We want to diversify and always make sure that we have an emergency fund ready because you never know what this economy will do in the coming months. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustling. Never, ever do this when investing. We saw it in the, just in the past few years. People investing money they can't afford to lose in Dogecoin in Shiba Inu and other stocks. It's happened time and time again. When a stock or a crypto is running up, people invest money after the rush without doing research. They blindly throw money at something because they heard a quick article without doing further research. If you don't have a budget in place, you don't know what you make and what you spend, you don't know what available monies you have over each month to invest. So you have to get that in order first. And always, always, always do your research before you put your hard-earned money in an investment vehicle. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustling. Even though we come on here each and every day and talk about financial education and money, we know that money is not the most important thing. So we want to be balanced. We want to make sure we enjoy our time with our family and friends and use our money to help others as well. So enjoy Super Bowl Sunday. And tomorrow, we'll have some more quick tips on financial education. Hoodie Hustling. Sometimes I hear ridiculous statements. Invest in this or start this business. And in seven days or in one month, you'll have enough to retire. Now, granted, there are some special cases where people are able to invest and leverage their money and turn it into a lot of money in a short period of time. But we have to remember that the higher risk you take when you invest your money, the higher risk it is to lose it all. So when we hear about these cryptos making people 100x their money in weeks or months of time, we have to remember that for every winner 
in the crypto market, in the stock market, or investing in general, there are a whole lot of losers that pay for the few people who make a lot. So keep that in mind when investing. Always do your research. Always use multiple sources of information. Like and subscribe, y'all. Hoodie hustling. It's tax season. Here's another tax tip. Your pre-tax income is what the government looks at to determine how much to take. But you can control the amount that gets taxed by spending money on things that can help grow your business. If you don't have a business, you can set one up. Lowering your income is one of the easiest ways to lower your taxes. Debt can also be used to lower your taxes. You can also turn your workspace into a tax write-off. Start using these strategies for tax tips. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie hustling. Investing can be risky, especially in today's market. But by following a few simple rules, we can help minimize that risk. One, be prepared. Before we start investing, make sure that we're ready. The traditional rule of thumb is to start as early as you possibly can and aim for about $6,000 a year. This can make you a millionaire by age 52. But more importantly, invest in yourself by learning a new skill or pursuing a high paying career. Two, get a game plan. Figure out where your money, where your money can make the most money. For most people, paying off high interest loans is a good start. Compare your loan interest rate to the average eight to 10% return in the stock market. If your loan has a higher rate, pay that off first. Three, know the basics. Investing is not about getting rich. It's about getting freedom. Good investing is just time plus money. Set your expectations and remember that you can't beat the market, but you can enjoy the freedom it provides. Four, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your investments across different types of assets like stocks, bonds, real estate, etc. And lastly, do your research. Before investing, research the company, market conditions, and current trends. Stay informed and adjust your strategy as needed. Investing can be a great way to gain financial freedom, but it requires patience, preparation, and a good understanding of the market. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie hustling. So often we see online people making vague predictions. A stock will do this or a stock will do that, but not setting any guidelines or timelines in effect. Or of course, a stock will go up and down. That is how the stock market works. But people try to use this without setting any timelines to make themselves look like they're accurate stock predictors. And there's no such thing. We don't know what the economy is going to do. All we can do is educate ourselves financially, stay abreast with new information, and continue to be more financially responsible. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie hustling. Here's a fun fact about the stock market. Every 10 years, it does something amazing. From 1989 to 99, you would have made 16.7% if you've been invested that time. Now, fast forward to 2000 to 2011, you would have lost 0.13%. A lot of people during that time would have given up stock markets to scam and pull their money out. But if they would have held tight from 2011 to 2021, you would have made 13.2%. Quite a return. So we can see the stock market is in cycles. It works in cycles. Like and subscribe. For more information like this, what do you have Bad money habits that will keep us poor. One, paying for social and vacation plans and bills before we pay ourselves. Two, purchasing something that we can't pay for in full. If you don't have the cash or can't pay for it in total, then save up until you can. Three, spending aimlessly without knowing what we're spending, and what we make each and every month. And four, not having an emergency fund in case something happens, whether it's a medical emergency, loss of employment, something with our car, place of dwelling, family, not having that emergency fund can keep us poor. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Pretty awesome.
It's that time of the year again, y'all. Tax season. And here are three quick ways that we can reduce our taxable income. One, contribute to a retirement account. Contributions to a 401k can reduce taxable income, thereby lowering our tax bill. Two, take advantage of tax deductions, such as mortgage interest, state and local taxes, and charitable contributions can also lower our taxable income. Three, claim tax credits. They'll be directly subtracted from the amount of taxes that we owe, rather than reducing our taxable income. Now, it's important to keep in mind that laws are subject to change, and it's always a great idea to consult a tax professional for the most up-to-date information. And four, like and subscribe to Hoodie Hustlin' for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustlin'. There are three easy steps to build generational wealth. One, buy dividend stocks and reinvest all dividends. Do this consistently for years and you will begin to build generational wealth. Two, live well below your means. That means if you get a bonus or a pay raise, it doesn't mean that your expenses have to increase. Continue to save as much as you can and use that money to invest. And three, take advantage of bear markets. When prices are low, that is the best time to buy quality stocks and crypto or whatever your investment vehicles are. Combine all those three steps and you will see generational wealth. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustlin. The five biggest don'ts when investing in the market. Don't invest in the short term. The chances of you starting to invest right now and in two or three months making thousands of dollars, slim to none. Keep that in mind when you start. Two, don't blindly follow others. Whether it's Hoodie Hustlin' or any other financial educator, don't blindly follow me or anyone else. Do your own research. Three, don't go all in on one stock. Diversify across multiple sectors. Four, don't time the market. The chances of you buying at the lowest point and selling at the highest is slim to none. Five, don't be emotional. The stock market will go up, it will go down, and it will go round and round. So buckle up. And six, and the most important, like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Hoodie hustling. A lot of the jobs that each of us hold to pay our bills, well, they really create a toxic cycle of working long hours to help someone achieve their own dreams. So we want to make sure we take time each and every day to educate ourselves, continue to mature financially so that we can begin to use our time and resources and leverage that to build our own dreams. Because if we don't, well, someone's going to continue to hire and leverage our time and our life to build their dreams. So we want to take each and every day to educate ourselves, continue to budget. We have to budget. That's the first part. And educate ourselves. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustling. How much you should have saved at each age range. According to CNBC and a Vanguard study done in 2022, anybody less than 25, the median is about $2,000 saved and invested. The ranges of 25 to 34, the median range is about 14,000. Ages 35 to 44, the median range is 36,000. From 45 to 54, the median range is about 62,000. 55 to 64, the median is about 90,000 and 65 plus, it's about 88,000. So if you're behind or ahead, make the needed adjustments so you can plan for the future. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustling. Cryptocurrency in under 60 seconds. It's a digital or virtual currency that uses cryptography for security. It operates independently of a central bank and can be transferred directly between individuals without a middleman. Currency is backed by government. Cryptocurrency, however, is decentralized and operates on a distributed ledger called a blockchain. Each transaction is recorded on this blockchain and verified by a network of computers, ensuring that it cannot be altered or double spent. Cryptocurrency transactions are fast, cheap, and secure, making them an attractive alternative to traditional banking methods. Now, cryptocurrency is volatile and unpredictable. 
but it's becoming increasingly popular as a means of investment and a store of value. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustling! Are you tired of feeling like you'll never get ahead financially? Do you feel like you're always playing catch up? Or there's a simple secret to building wealth. The key is paying yourself first. That means setting aside a portion of your income, each paycheck, before paying bills, expenses, or recreational pursuits. Now, when you pay yourself first, you're investing in your future and setting yourself up for financial success. It will take time, though, and it goes just beyond financial stability. Now you'll have less stress and worry about money, and you can enjoy the things you love without feeling guilty, guilty or anxious. Start paying yourself and watch your wealth grow. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Pretty hustling. How to Reduce Your Monthly Bills By making small changes over time, we can see a big difference in the amount of money we're paying each month. 1. Review our cell phone, internet, TV, and insurance bills. Can we bundle these expenses or find a less expensive package with fewer features? This will significantly reduce our monthly payments. 2. Adjust the temperatures in our home. During the winter, Try reducing the temperature by a few degrees, and during the summer, increase it by a few degrees to save on utility bills. Capture sunlight during the cold months, make sure to open the blinds. And during the warm months, keep your blinds and windows closed to reduce energy costs and keep your home cool. There are just a simple few tips to help improve your spending habits and reduce your bills. Like and subscribe for more Hoodie Hustling. Tax season, y'all. April 15th, less than two months away. Don't wait until the last minute to file. If you do, you often make mistakes and reduce the amount of deductions that you could potentially have, thereby decreasing the amount you'll receive back. You could also incur late fees by filing after the due date. Also, too, if you're going to be receiving a return, start to portion out how you'll use that money. Part of it possibly for savings, possibly for an emergency account, another part for investing, another part for paying off bills, and another part for recreation or personal use. But have a plan for your money and make sure you file on time. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustling! The S&P 500. That is a term we often hear thrown around in the financial industry. But what does it mean? Well, let's go to Investopedia.com for a brief definition. The S&P 500, or Standard & Poor's 500 Index, is a weighted index that tracks 500 leading publicly traded companies in the U.S. These are the top companies in the U.S., representing a wide range of diversity and depth across the U.S. economy. So when you hear the S&P 500, think of a buffet or a basket of the top companies in the U.S. across many di different sectors. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustling! Saving is not enough. You need to do more because each year our money is worth less and less. We need to couple our saving also with reducing our expenses. That can be done by purchasing more generic brand stuff. That way we'll save, look for promotions and coupons. We can save in that manner. Also, too, we want to start investing as soon as possible. That way it gives our money more time to make more money. We also can try to create side hustles for ourselves or look for free on the job training or online. That way we can qualify for a promotion or possibly a new role altogether at an increased salary. So like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Hustling! Saving will only get you so far, but spending less, well, you can use that money to invest, to work, and grow for you, and that will make all the difference. Here are three quick ways we can improve. One, brand new car. 
Avoid it at all costs. As soon as you put your key in the ignition, a car, new car loses 10% of its value. And by the third year on average, that new car has lost 60% of its value. Number two, souvenirs. Even, even if you like to travel, focus on taking more pictures and purchasing less. You will see a big difference on the amount of money you save each trip. And three, buying the updated version. Even though technology seems to have a new and improved something each and every day, it doesn't mean we have to purchase it. If what we have is working just fine, just keep it. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. What do you have Investing without risk is not possible, but you can reduce it. One way is to buy diversify your investments by spreading your money across various assets, such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, crypto, real estate, etc. Another way is to invest in low-risk options like government bonds or savings accounts. Also, do your research and plan appropriately with a budget in place before investing your hard-earned money. Remember, you can't eliminate risk entirely, but you can minimize it by making informed, educated choices. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie Are you struggling with debt? and feeling overwhelmed? Well, here is how we can reduce our debt and get back on track financially. First off, list all the debt that you have, including interest rates and minimum payments. Then you wanna prioritize your debt by focusing on the one with the highest interest rate first. Then negotiate a lower rate, interest rate, if possible with your creditors or consider transferring the balance to a card with a lower rate. In addition, you wanna look for ways to increase your income and use every extra dollar earned to pay off that debt. Lastly, make a budget and stick to it. Cut out unnecessary expenses and put that money towards debt payments. And don't forget to celebrate your progress along the way, no matter how small it may be. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Who are you hustling? Here are some passive income ways to make money daily. It normally takes two to three years for a business to become profitable, but with the help of the internet and technology, you can hopefully speed up that curve. Affiliate marketing, which has no overhead, and you can use your contacts you already have in place, can be a great source of income. Also, we always talk about index funds and dividend stocks. You can do your research on those and start to build up a proper portfolio, and you can build wealth over years. Not weeks or months, it'll take years to build up significant wealth. So be very wary of get rich scammers and ideas that promise to build wealth over days or weeks of time. The chances of that happening are slim to none. And be careful of those people. It's almost as shady as somebody with a ski mask giving you financial advice. And the last way is like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Not really, but it helps me out in the algorithms. Like and subscribe, y'all. Hoodie hustling. Your credit score is more important than you may think. It can impact your ability to get a loan, rent an apartment, or even get a job. First off, you don't have just one credit score. There are different scoring models used by different lenders and credit bureaus. Secondly, your credit score is not determined by just one factor. It takes into account your payment history, credit utilization, length of credit history, and more. And finally, you can improve your credit score by paying bills on time, keeping your credit utilization low, and monitoring your credit report. You can boost your score over time. So don't be afraid of your credit score. Take control of it and use it to your advantage. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hoodie awesome. Easy money and fast results. There's no such thing. If someone promises quick and easy money, it's often scams designed to take your hard-earned cash. Before you invest your money, do your research. Check the legitimacy of a company or an individual offering the opportunity. Remember, if it's too good to be true, it often is. Don't fall for the lure of easy money. Focus on building a sustainable income through hard work, budgeting, and financial education. Stay alert, stay informed, and protect yourself from falling victim. There's a lot of get rich quick claims, but your financial security is worth more than any promise of easy money.
Like and subscribe for more videos like this. What are you hustling? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't swipe. It's tax season. And we only have a few months left before we have to submit our taxes. How can we maximize our savings? Well, here's a few tips. One, we can contribute to our 401k or IRA as much as we can max out. Also, two, optimize deductions by taking advantage of tax credits and other advantages. And three, it's good to hire a professional because this is what they do and they can maximize our savings. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. What are you hustling? The million dollar cup of coffee. Coffee costs us $5 a day on average, but if you were to take that $5 and invest daily, you could become a millionaire. Let's take Apple stock, which has produced on average annual gains of 33.9% since 1981. So if you took that $5 a day, that cup of coffee, and invest it for the next 20 years at that annual rate of percentage, you would have $1.8 million. Let's take the median, so it would remove the positive and negative outliers. Well, Apple still has a 24.5% per year annual gain percentage if we remove the outliers. Now, if you took that $5 a day of coffee and in 25 years, it would be $1.7 million. Indeed, a million dollar cup of coffee. Like and subscribe, Hoodie Uslan. Four money-saving tactics that can boost your income. One, read and educate yourself because once you learn a skill or a talent that can never be taken away from you no longer how long you live. Two, don't invest or put your money in something that you don't fully understand. If you can't explain it to someone, then obviously you don't know it well enough to put your hard-earned money into it. Three, don't buy something just because it's on sale. If you're going to purchase an item, shop around for a sale. Don't just buy something because it's on sale. And four, don't buy because of ego or habit. Only buy what you need. Like and subscribe for more information like this. Hoodie Hustlin. 30 Day Savings Challenge. All of us can participate in. Days one through five, we want to save a dollar each day. Days 6 through 10, you save $2 a day. After 10 days, you'll have $15. Days 11 through 15, you save $3 a day for a grand total of $30. Days 16 through 20, you save $4 a day, and now we have $50 in total saved. And days 21 through 30, you save $5 a day, which will bring us to a grand total of $100 saved in 30 days. If you can do this multiple times a month per year, you can use this money to pay down debt, create a savings account as a nest egg in case something happens, or use it to invest. Real simple, y'all. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie Hustling. Three ways to learn personal finance. No excuses. You can find free books or articles online. If you're not a big reader like me, find an audio version of the book and listen to it when you're driving or other times of the day. Also, you can find a free online course to take, some type of schooling that you can enroll in. And three, you could go on YouTube and maybe listen to some random guy in a ski mask in a hood. You might learn something. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie Hustling. Three ways to invest in a bad economy. One, invest in consumer staples or healthcare. These tend to be more stable stocks during a bad economy. Two, invest in bonds. They also tend to yield higher dividends and be more stable during an economic downturn. And three, invest in real estate. 
And if you have real estate, see if you can generate a rental income from that property. Like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to learn more information like this. What is a major source of stress for adults? It's money. When to pay bills, how to pay bills, how to have good credit, how to get out of debt, how to save, how to invest. And why do adults oftentimes have trouble and so much stress regarding this? Well, because as children, we weren't properly taught how to manage our money. It's imperative that we teach our children, our youth, nieces, nephews, how to manage money and teach them about the power of saving and investing. In the next video, we're going to go over the seven reasons why all children should learn about personal finance. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. Hoodie hustling. How can we become better savers? Well, one way that I found to do so is to put it on autopilot. What does that mean? Well, if we get direct deposit, we can set up to take a portion, maybe 5 to 10% of our paycheck, and put it in a separate bank account. Let it grow for a year, and after that year is up, use that accumulated money to pay off credit card debt, other debt we may have have accumulated over time, or use that money to invest or to add to a savings account that we have in case of an emergency. Multiple ways to continue to save better and be more financially responsible. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money in 2023. What are you hustling? Seven reasons all kids should learn about personal finance. Number one, to develop good money habits, learning about personal finance at a young age can help them to develop good money habits such as budgeting, saving, and responsible spending, which will set them up for success later. Two, understand the value of money. That way, it will help them be more thoughtful and responsible on how to spend and save and invest their money. They can make informed decisions. Understanding personal finance will help them to choose a bank account or investing and savings plan later in life. Four, to prepare for financial independence. The sooner they learn, the smarter and more mature they will become. Five, to avoid financial financial pitfalls such as overspending and making poor decisions. Six, set and achieve financial goals such as saving for a car or college. And seven, improve financial literacy. The best side hustles if you have no money. Offer your services as a freelance writer, video editor, or if you have IT skills. Whatever talents, skills, anything you're good at, turn it into a billable service. Also, you could maybe start a YouTube channel and try to monetize it. You never know. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to take control of your finances in 2023. Hoodie hustling. Seven personal finance rules schools don't teach you. Number one, set a budget. Number two, Build a rainy day fund. Number three, track your credit score. Number four, maximize tax breaks. Number five, invest in yourself. Number six, know your limits. And number seven, maintain a personal balance sheet. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to take control of your finances in 2023. Hoodie Hustling. The most common question or comment that I get is, Hoodie, you know, if you did like everybody else and showed your face and wore a suit, your channel would grow faster. That's true. But why I wear a hood and a mask is because oftentimes we blindly trust people that show their face and wear suits with our finances, with our money, without doing our own due diligence. As I mentioned before, if you look at the FTX scandal that happened, the Bernie Madoff scandal, I can go on and on. People blindly trust people just because they have a suit on without doing their own research. So what I'm here to do is to help us build our financial savviness and education so that we always fact check people, no matter what they look like, and do our own research. Use multiple sources of information and just help to grow our financial education and independence so we can make smarter decisions. Like and subscribe.